Merhaba and hoş geldiniz. This is the Magical Rabbit Kimi channel. My name is Becky. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I appreciate it. Today we're showing the background of my studio. Basically, you're seeing my bookshelves with stuff I collect. Um, it's three shelves of Star Wars slash Mandalorian and two shelves of Disney today. Um, if you are interested in watching Mandalorian, I suggest you skip this if you haven't seen it, because there will be some spoilers, because there's lots of Grogu doing stuff from the show. So, if you were just giving you that heads up right now, if this if you haven't seen Mando and you want to, skip this video for now, okay? Uh, I apologize because angling this phone, I'm having to carry it around today because we're walking around and moving around a little bit today. Um, so the angles might be a little bit weird and wonky. I apologize for that, but let's start showing you the shelves. All right. All right. I do apologize for the weird shadows, but this is the top of my shelf. So this is a little series. Uh, I will leave the information linked for it down below, but you've got Grogu on a tablet, him using the force, him eating him eating again, him drinking some blue milk, which I think is a little bit of a play on Galaxy's Edge a little bit. It's super fun. He's got a little blue mustache. Funko Pop of him eating, looking at the eggs and wanting, being hungry like he always is. Him hiding under Mando's helmet after he stole the cookies from that kid. He's eating the cookies. Him playing with a butterfly, hiding in a vase. Another Funko Pop that came from Bibbidi. Uh, this one lights up. I don't have any batteries in it right now, so, uh, but it does light up. Him being afraid of spiders, which I can totally relate to. Him playing with his new buddy and his first snowfall, which is so super cute. If you can see that he's got snow on top of his head and sticking to his feet super fun all right we got some more mando stuff down here again it's just mostly a bunch of grogu these decals came from home depot about two years ago i don't know that they have them anymore but that's where those decals all came from in the back and then you've got the plushie of grogu uh, a figurine of grogu uh, the ma a giant Mando holding Grogu, Funko Pop, the electronic version, he's got the Mythosaur necklace, so you can see what that looks like, and then the plushie that comes with the pram, and then this little guy who's like staying in the box because I don't want to lose any pieces, but it comes with the I think a bull and the knob and a frog. Anyway, super fun and cute. All right, so then we've got Grogu wrapped in a blanket, him playing with the little silver ball knob thing from the ship, him using the force. Again, Grogu eating some bone broth, eating a frog, him looking just adorable and like sad and maybe using the force uh riding with ig11 on the speeder hanging out inside of a stormtrooper helmet love that one uh, again playing with the mythosaur necklace from mando uh eating eating another frog uh also the funko pop him and the pram him using the force with fire, and then him being hilarious. One of my favorite scenes of all time from Grogu is when he's flipping switches on the Mando cockpit from the Razor Crest. All right, moving on, we've got the other Star Wars shelf. So we have a little Christmas BB-8 unit right here. They come out with, seem to come out with one every year, but that's been my favorite one. Um, so this was actually a gift from my brother. 
well, he stopped using it, and I, he knew I wanted a BB-8. This is came, this came from Droid Depot. He built this droid when we were at Disneyland to uh, in 2019, in September. So he built a BB unit, and then he bought the R2. Um, back here we have an ornament of an AT-80. -AT. So you can see the little ornament knobby, but I use it year-round, so I leave it out. Also, this is a Christmas ornament as well, but I leave it out year-round, because why not? Um, so here we have the lightsaber that I built at Savi's workshop, the Elemental Nature workshop. So you have the Rancor Tooth right here. The Rancor Tooth as the base of the bottom of it. Then leather. And there's my switch. And then bone. So that's the that is the lightsaber that I built. And I used a red kyber crystal when I bought it because red is my second favorite color and it's more Star Wars-y to me than... Anyways. It's more Star It's The red is very Star Wars to me even though it's the dark side. Um, so that's, that's the reasoning for that one. And then I got a Diet Coke and kept the bottle after I drank it because it just looks cool. I kind of love that thing. This is the droid that I built at the Droid Depot. I went with the R2 Classic unit. He, it's, it's just fun and it's classic and just perfect for me. Um, and then I have this ornament that I got from Hallmark of the. Award, but it has this is what Leia gives Luke and Han at the end of A New Hope. Um, but this is what it looks like, and there's the back of it. That's actually what it's supposed to look like. That's what the award actually looks like. But I leave it up with Darth Vader because Darth Vader is cool. This was a Christmas gift from my brother. Stormtrooper Lego, and then I got this for myself because the Dark Troopers are awesome and the eyes show up red and it's super fun. And that is Star Wars. We'll move up to the first Disney shelf. So we have this Nightmare Before Christmas, Jim Shore. Um, I got this for my birthday this year. I'm also wearing my spooky Halloween ears because we're doing the spooky stuff for Halloween. So I leave this up only for two months, September and October for spooky season. It's the poison apple. So you got pretty green and underneath it's red where you can see. And then on the back, it's got purple glitter writing and it says just one bite. You can put a tea light in there if you were so interested, but I just leave it without. Here I've got this Jim Shore with Maleficent that just and Aurora, the series that come out with the hero and the villain, or the princess and the villain. Um, that came in a bibbity box, and I was super excited because it was my very first Maleficent Jim Shore. And she is my favorite villain, so I was very excited to get that one. This one also came in a bibbity box, and I do love Stitch, so this one's fun, and it's the book series. Um, so on the back, it says Lilo and Stitch. Sorry, I'm doing a very bad job of showing that, but the blue book, it says Lilo and Stitch in gold. And then you turn it, ooh, I'm going to break something. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Okay. Maybe I'll stop picking things up. Okay. And then, so this is the other spooky things. One of the other spooky things I've got. So I've got this set also in a bibbity box last year. The set of three. So you got Vampire Teddy. The kid holding the hat. The head that came from the lake. And the rubber duck. Uh, super fun. Both sides are this. 
or similar rolls around and then this little stitch keychain also came from a Vivity box and then you have this beautiful Jack soliloquy gym shore as well and this is cool because it's like see-through you can kind of see my hand back through there so that's pretty fun see through -y. on the behind there you've seen this pin board of my Star Wars pin set um, and then these two guys as well and then the last shelf right here and we got some wishables and this figurine in the back of the remix aliens remix series of uh, a Toy Story alien dressed up as Miguel from Coco. That was my favorite one, and I had to get that one at the Disney store before it closed. All right, so we got Ariel playing, brushing, brushing her hair with a dingle hopper. Cinderella, this is the White Woodlands. This is my one and only White Woodlands, but she's beautiful. I love her. Um, another little Lego set of Aurora. Super fun and cute. I like, I don't build a whole lot of Legos, but it's a lot of fun. Here's my other spooky season. This came in my October, or my, my October, my August Bibbity box. And it was super fun. You've got Mickey is a vampire, Minnie is a witch, and this little trick-or-treat bag dangles, and it's super fun. And you've got the bats on the base. Super fun. Uh, Jasmine is my third favorite princess. Um, I love the movie Aladdin. I love this figure. Figurine. It says romance takes flight. Again, it'll say like Aladdin on the back of the book. I learned my lesson, so I'm not going to pick it up again. But this is pretty cool because I will give you the side view of it. Of how like animated it, animated it is and how it's like 3D. It's pretty cool. And then we have this beautiful princess of Aurora with her castle in her dress. All right. And I do have two other gym shores that are not up here that are not holiday themed. Um, I have the Rapunzel artist, adventurous artist, when she's paint got her palette point. All right, so that is the end again. I will of the background. Um, again, I have two gym shores that are not shown here. Uh, Rapunzel painting called "Adventurous Artist" and uh, Bell holding a book. Book Smart Beauty is the name of that gym shore. So those are the only two that are not up there right now. Um, had to move them away to put up the Halloween stuff. So. That is my background. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you like this video all the way through, please give it a like. Comment down below who is your favorite princess. Because I'm curious to know what you guys, what your thoughts are on your favorite princess. And thanks for being here. And I see you, hope to see you next time. Gooder shooters.